Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here again with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents and welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to check out my website which is waftingwonderfulwax.scentsy.us where I am Liz Quinn, your certified Scentsy consultant. So today I have for you my weekly What I Have Been Warming video and that will include the Island Ace Wax Collection and a bunch of other wax that I have here on the table of things that I was getting through. So the first one that I melted at the beginning of this uh, new empty basket for the week was a combination of a lot of Amazon Rain in different parts of the house and then paradise petals and I love both of these they have a lot of similarities with sort of a creamy tropical softness Amazon rain is such a classic it's got orange it has coconut milk it has jasmine and it is just loveliness and so that just kind of permeates your house at a medium level it's nice and soft and silky and just so comforting and the paradise petals has white blooms and it's got the orange zest and it has a little bit more of like a tropical island sort of a feel whereas the amazon rain is a little bit more jungly and this is very light it's one of my favorites of all the new releases from this last spring it appears as though and i'm taking a gamble here sensi always brings last seasons like spring to spring or fall to fall new releases back these days so i'm not going to club this Yes, I would be sad if it doesn't come back next year, but I'm like 95% sure that it will. Otherwise, I would definitely be putting this in my club because it is beautiful and one of my favorite floral new releases in a long time. All right, another day, I was very much wanting sort of the really cuddly vanilla kind of a day. So I started out by putting an awful lot of vanilla waves and caramel vanilla delight and alternate warmers throughout the house you want to talk about like a vanilla bakery bomb that's what these two together do so your your uh, vanilla waves is so like salty caramely creamy very summery very boardwalk on the beach and then your caramel vanilla delight which was not catalog like the vanilla waves but it was in our bbmb that was just in june this one is vanilla ice cream base and rum and lots of caramel and oh these two together fantastic so then in my florida room i had put in a good helping of love and happiness now this one is sort of a complex scent this was also bbmb from june this one's in my club this got voted back and there are lots of us that are super happy super happy that it was so this has vanilla, but this also has chestnut, and it has just some mysterious notes that make it really light and sweet, but also almost this tiny bit of uh, earthy or cologne notes. Very, very hard to describe this smell, but it went very well with the other two that were in the rest of the house. And this one went for two full days in my Florida room in a couple of warmers. Just a beautiful, medium to medium strong, excellent performer. And it's one that I like all year round. Probably it will be the best when it's colder outside though. And then because the love and happiness just went and went and went, I think I cleaned out some of my warmers in the front room and threw in some bonfire beach to go with those vanillas. And it was so good. So I think this was actually a second day where I was sort of babying the wax along. I can't remember, but bonfire beach has toasted marshmallow and it's got a little bit of sea salt air and it has things that are very complementary to vanilla waves. So this was really, really nice uh, kind of finishing out a day or two with those mixes in the house. Now, another day, if you saw my melting basket where I'm sort of doing a July sliding into August melting basket because of just the way my month went and the way next month's gonna go, I have all these that had either a green note or a citrus note and there were like a couple cubes left in the clams. So I sort of threw them all over the house and that was a really nice day. This isn't my favorite scent profile, but it was good. So the first one that I was trying to get through was a cucumber and cactus water. And you know what? The first time that I melted this, I really didn't like it. The second time I melted it, I really didn't like it. But it goes to show you that you need to keep melting. I mean, you gotta get through a bar, right? Until sometimes your nose changes. So this one, I'm not gonna run out and buy a bunch more. I thought about getting another bar or two, but I would have to put it in my club because they're out of stock. But this was from the summer collection and I did like it yesterday. It has a nice, fresh, light green quality and that little bit of almost pickled cactus was not very strong. Maybe it was just the weather, I don't know, but it was nice. So my older daughter is melting the other bar that we have left of this in her room. So I'll probably just throw this extra cube into that clamshell. It was very nice. And if you like those clean green scents, 
I like this better than I did when it first came out, what, in May when we had the uh, summer collection. It wasn't too bad, but the other one in the collection as it has sat has gotten worse. Feeling punchy, the first time that I melted this, I'm like, yeah, I can do that. It's nice, it's really happy, aggressive orange. Oh, not this time. It sat long enough to get that whew, stale smell that people have been complaining about. I had two cubes left that I didn't even melt. I threw them away. No more feeling punchy for me. It wasn't good in the counter clean either. That is the only time I've gotten a counter clean and thought, oh, why did they do that? So yeah, no more feeling punchy for me or probably anybody else. All right, oodles of orange. I added a couple cubes of that and a couple warmers mixing with all these. I've got one more in this pile where they all kind of complemented each other. Oodles of Orange is a classic, bright, juicy, happy orange scent. And I really, really enjoyed this in combination with the green smells, especially the last one, which if you love your sea salt and avocado. So I had all four of these in different parts of the house. It was quite the uh, orange and green and avocado and cactus like fiesta. So the sea salt and avocado will not be coming back for the fall winter catalog. So club it buy a stack, or I guess you can rely on the brick that's in Scentsy Club. We, in the past, have always kept bricks when the bars retire for the season or permanently. Like at the moment, if you love perfect pomegranate, you cannot get that, but you can get it as a brick in Scentsy Club. And for spring, summer, we weren't able to get sugar cookie in a bar, but you can get it in a brick. So I am assuming there's always the chance that Scentsy will do something crazy though that this should be available in a brick through the fall winter. And then next spring, would it come back in the catalog? Would they pull it completely? Will it stay as a brick? We just don't know. But this one, Sun Kissed Citrus, Jammy Time, and Squeeze the Day are all in that same predicament. So if you really love one of those or all of them, you might wanna just put them in your club to be safe. So anyway, all that to say, sea salt and avocado, I had two cubes left of this particular clam. I put those in the front room and the uh, oodles of orange was nearby. So nice because this is Valencia orange and sea salt and creamy avocado and it is a beautiful fresh smell. Oh, so good. Anyway, so then another day I got my Island Days collection in the mail and that meant a flurry of changing everything out and just starting to melt the new ones. And I love this collection. It's so much fun. There's only one that was really a dud for me. And sometimes a dud is just kind of like, yeah, I don't like it. This, I really don't like. This sunshine and tan lines, I wanted to like it. Ugh, I don't know, there's something in this. It's not as bad as feeling punchy. I'll take this one over feeling punchy, at least now that it has sat. But the sunshine and tan lines is supposed to be banana. And then I think it has coconut, some sort of floral. I don't know what it smells like to me is cocoa powder, bananas, and then kind of the base of white chocolate, which is like uh, cocoa butter. Those things are not supposed to be in something that smells like a suntan lotion. So unfortunately for me, this one's going over to my mom's because she thought that she liked it. So I will be giving her the rest of this. And I loved the other four bars. So I ordered my second consultant uh, bundle so I can get it earlier than when they come out on, I believe the 25th for everybody else and she'll get the other bar of that one too, I think. So then the other four, love all of them. There was one where the other day I did my review where I was kind of like, I don't know, and I did melt more of it. It's my least favorite of the four, but it's still nice enough that I want to get some more and that is the Driftwood and Jasmine. This is so interesting. And if you end up liking the sunshine and tan lines, I think this one's the most complimentary to that bar. It's just, the other one just does not work for my nose. I do not want to smell cocoa powder and bananas in my front room. Mm. Anyway, so this driftwood and jasmine is a little bit kind of powdery and odd when you first start to warm it. But as it softens and it warms up, you get the jasmine, but it is not jasmine like in so many of our other Scentsy bars. It's more musky, it's more mysterious, and it does give me sort of an island feel. So I definitely want some more of this. I don't think I'm going to club it, but it is intriguing. In some ways it reminds me of cashmere. It's like, it's not the same scent or even cozy cashmere in that it's a mysterious kind of 
unique, like you have to keep melting it to decide if you like it scent. It reminds me the most of good old fashioned cashmere, which in the clam, I do not like it, but you warm it up and you're like, huh, there's something in that where sometimes I just crave it. So that's how I feel about this particular bar. Now the other three were absolute home runs for me. So the Star Apple and Freesia, the only problem, and look, my clamshell broke. The only problem with this one ended up being that it doesn't throw very far, unfortunately. Oh, this is so pretty and happy. So it's got the Star Apple, it has the Freesia. I think it has some sort of an orange note. I've forgotten what the notes are. If you want specifics, go back to my Island Days collection review and all that's you know, done appropriately and it's all red and all that good stuff. But when I do these what I've been warmings, I'm just telling you how I feel about it. It's nothing too scientific. Oh, but this is just the happiest tropical. I almost feel like there's guava in here. I don't know if that's in the notes. Oh, juicy, beautiful, fruity, probably bedroom, bathroom appropriate. I will absolutely get probably three more of this and then put it away because I, I don't like it enough to club it just because it doesn't throw super well. And my club will do one more club, edit, walk through, talk through toward the end of the month. But oh, so hard to make decisions if you're trying to have any sort of financial responsibility with your club. So that one's good. I'll get some more. The next two, these two, I think they're both going to go in the club. This tiare and coconut is beautiful. And I had said that I didn't have any coconuts for coconuts left. I was organizing my clams and I do have half of a clam shell this morning that I found. So I did smell it against this. The coconuts for coconuts is more coconut and suntan lotion, whereas this one has this citrus and floral mix that goes with the coconut. Oh my goodness. For me, this is such a lovely scent. Like I just want lots and lots of it to put throughout the house. And I normally do not feel that way about any scent except maybe like apple butter frosting. So this is a good one. I'm gonna be keeping this one for the long haul for sure. It's like a medium, sometimes a medium strong performer. I also mixed it, not in the same warmer, but in the same room with coconut lemongrass and that's in a brick. So that I forgot to pull, that's in the other room. But I used some coconut lemongrass in here one evening to clear out some, um, some interesting smells from somebody's pot stickers. So nice. And the coconut in the tiara and coconut complemented the coconut lemongrass and they actually balanced each other very, very well. Anyway, last one, which I am absolutely hands down clubbing is the salted bergamot breeze because I love Atlantic air. I love by the sea and I love palm trees and ocean breeze. And this is like the best parts of all of those. Oh, so good. So this has a hint of pineapple, kind of like palm trees and ocean breeze. And it's got all the salt like you get in Atlantic air. And then it has some freshness. It has none of the green beach grass that's in by the sea. Cause I melted all of those today in different rooms all while well, I didn't do the palm trees and ocean breeze, but I did by the sea in the front room. I did the salt and bird salt. Ugh, can't talk today either. Salted bergamot breeze in the dining room. And then in the Florida room and the kitchen, I put in my Atlantic air and by far I smelled by the sea first and strongest, but as everything dies down for the afternoon, I just had this wonderful aquatic, beautiful thing going on in the house. Oh, so Atlantic air needs smaller spaces for you to really fully appreciate it. And I wouldn't normally put it in my kitchen, but I just wanted to see how it stood up to this one and whether it drew out other notes in this new one being stuck between the other two. So it did. This one smells more pineapple-y when it's sandwiched in between by the sea and Atlantic air. So great smell if you like those others that I just mentioned. Absolutely going in my club. So now in my basement, I have been working on my disaster area down there because with uh, changes in this front room, there's a, an adorable little two-seater couch that we have out here. And that was originally supposed to be in our Florida room. When I do my remodel videos, I will tell you the whole saga of how everything in the house ended up in the wrong place and for what reasons. But just to be a little bit more concise today, this little guy, my oldest daughter has her eye on it for down the road when you know she moves out and becomes an independent lady, which is probably a few years away, but she really doesn't want me to resell this two-seater. So I gotta find a place to put it. So the unfinished side of my basement looks sort of like home goods in an explosion. And I need to make room to probably put this thing away down there. 
So I've been doing a lot of cleaning and sorting and the resale shop is going to get a lot of pillows and other decor and I'm hoping to recoup a little bit of the expense of changing some things out up here so that that can get tucked away down there next to my <clears throat> three Christmas trees for my 1500 square foot house. Yes, I have a problem and everything else is in the basement. So I was working down there. That's the reason I'm telling you all this. And I have what I was melting down there while I was doing all this the last couple days. So I rarely talk about vanilla blackberry because I like it, but I didn't love it enough to keep it in my club. So I think right now I've got one or one and a half bars left. I had three or four cubes in this clamshell. This was last August, I think, scent of the month. It is very good, it's very strong, it's assertive, it's unique, but I just don't love it so much that I could keep it in my club. So I just kind of leave it on the side for a day where I'm craving it. So yesterday was that day. So I put this in my basement in, I had the watering can warmer that we just got in our June promotion. I have the Be Kind warmer. I've got a little mini warmer. It smelled amazing. And then I'm trying to do this all get through the two cube clam things. So I had two cubes of Welcome Home left. Unfortunately, I cannot smell this particular bar much in my house. And downstairs, the vanilla blackberry totally took over, even though I had this in the warmer that was closest to the stairs. And I just smelled all that beautiful cedar and blackberry all day long. Um, welcome home. My favorite use for it is to mix it with my brick of walnut raisin muffin because that gives me everything that I want in walnut raisin muffin, which I think needs a little bit of spice. That's a very nice bar, but I tend to use that in the fall and the winter more. And then today, because I went down there to change out all the wax, I'm like, nope, vanilla blackberry is still kicking. I cannot take it out of the warmers yet because I've only got one bar and maybe a couple cubes left. I don't want to waste it. So out of the welcome home warmer, I changed that wax and I added Vanilla Waves. Now, if you have a lot of Vanilla Blackberry and you like Vanilla Waves, I think that is a new melting combo that I would highly encourage. It's so good because the Vanilla Waves kind of tames a little bit of that sharpness that's in the Vanilla Blackberry. Fantastic melting together in the house, these two. So good because the Vanilla Waves is assertive and it holds up to that Vanilla Blackberry. Okay, what's left? Bedrooms. So my older daughter was doing some of this cucumber and cactus water and in her room it smelled amazing. What's so funny is every bar that I don't really like, that some sort of a green, blue, cologne, any of those sorts of profiles, give them to my older daughter, she puts them in her room and I walk in and go, wow, what's that? Pretty much everything that I reject that I say, yuck, it smells amazing in there. So it goes to show you that I think, this is just a guess, that even things like body chemistry and how you keep your personal space affect scent. Because my younger daughter and my older daughter have their individual rooms that, you know, I go in there, but I don't live in there. And it seems as though the way something smells in other parts of the house, it'll smell different, especially in my older daughter's room. So just something to think about. Anyway, so she had some of this in there and it was very, very nice. Then I wanted to do apricot vanilla in my desert bloom warmer, which I think is just gonna like permanently park in my bedroom. It is the perfect bedroom warmer. Oh, so you just need one cube. This is stronger than you think it will be. It's a good solid medium and it went for two days. So the first day you get lots of apricot, the second day you get more vanilla, so pretty. This is another spring summer scent. They always seem to bring it back, but if you haven't tried apricot vanilla because like me, you just thought it was gonna be a weak, boring performer, it's so good. It's like an apricot push pop, you know, the kind that you get at the, the like quick grip store here in Michigan. That's what we call them. You go down to the gas station. We used to call them the quick grip. <laughs> My dad called it as when I was a kid. And you'd get your push pop and you'd enjoy it in the car on hot summer day. So that's what this is. So then another day I had gotten my order and I got Mr. Stitch back into my collection and I put in just one cube and it was perfect for a small bedroom. Just the most beautiful mix of floral and lush tropical. So good. If you have not tried him, as long as you have spaces that are medium to small, I would highly recommend that you try this one before it goes away. So nice. All right, my younger daughter, really enjoyed the rest of Simply Irresistible, which was from the Bring Back My Bar. I did not find it to perform terribly well in the house, so I didn't get another clam, but she really liked it. And I kind of felt bad because I didn't realize how much she liked it. I would have very happily gotten her another bar. But this one has like lavender 
and almost like a men's body wash uh, scent to it. And it's very nice. The only reason I didn't get more is because it was total performance dud for me when I tried it. And last but not least, both my younger daughter and I have been enjoying vanilla bourbon in our rooms. And this one, they must have tweaked the formula just a little bit between its first release last year and now, because this is by no means strong, but I'm finding these new bars from 2022 much better performers than last year, where you really couldn't smell it and it was so disappointing because the scent was so good. So in a bedroom, a couple cubes will give you a medium, medium, low, good like you walk in and you smell it. You walk out and you kind of smell it. You walk in and you smell it, sort of an experience. And it is so pretty. In some ways, this reminds me of Pacific Sandalwood because it has that same sort of mysterious, now you smell it, now you don't sort of a thing. It's warm, it has the bourbon, it has the vanilla and a pinch of nutmeg. And with this second year, these bars, I can smell the nutmeg. Whereas last year, you struggled to get anything except a little whiff of bourbon and vanilla. So I am very happy that this scent is doing better because it is gorgeous. And I hope that if you enjoyed it, you put it in your club. This is no longer offered. It was a Father's Day thing. So that is everything this week. If you've gotten a sneak peek at the new catalog, is there a warmer that you are really excited about? And then I'm not gonna tell you which one I have my eye on the most. I think I might've said something when I did my, um, my little walkthrough of some of the catalog things. But if you guys wanna put down in the comments your guess as to which one I just have to have. There are three that I think I'm gonna order two for sure, but I have one out of the new catalog that I just cannot wait to get my hands on because it is so me. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Tell me what you're thinking about warmers from the new catalog and I will talk to you soon. I still do not even have a printed label on my 10 bars for my starter kit for fall and I am like dying to get those things in the mail. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.